Happy Halloween, Gothamites. Welcome to Batman Arkham Knight. The final installment in the Batman Arkham series. It's been a long time coming, and you know what? It, uh, it turns out pretty decently. As usual, I will be playing these games on hard. Uh, difference this time around is I'm playing on the PlayStation 4 instead of on the PC, because, uh... Well, let's, uh, let's not talk about the PC release. This will be a 100% run, so, uh, please sit back and, uh, enjoy. I do have all the DLC. I haven't played all of it just yet, but I will be getting it done before the end of the, uh, before the end of the LP. I might not do the same thing on the challenge maps as I'd done before, just because they're, they're a lot more disjointed than they've been in the other games. It's not terrible, but I'll definitely be doing all the racetracks. Man, I love me the racetracks. But without too much further ado, why don't we uh, go ahead and get started? I've got you under my skin. I've got you deep in the heart of me so deep in my heart that you're really a part of me I've got you under my skin I would sacrifice anything, come what might, for the sake of having you near. In spite of the warning voice that comes in the night and repeats how treats in my ear. Don't you know, little fool, you never can win. Use your mentality, wake up to reality. But each time I do, the thought of you makes me stop just before I can begin. Cause I've got you under my skin. This is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. Nine months ago, Joker was cremated. I pressed the button and burnt the evil bastard myself. And then, we waited. Gotham braced itself for the inevitable power struggle. But it didn't come crime actually fell. Deep down, I knew war was coming. I was just waiting for someone to pull the trigger. Thanks. No problem. Oh, thanks, honey. So, what'll it be? Your usual? Sure. Okay, chicken salad with no dressing. <laughs> no, you know what? Make it waffles. With a side of bacon. Don't tell my wife. Whatever you say, officer. Oh, and if you want some more coffee, just shout. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt your dinner, Officer uh, Owens. But there's a guy smoking over there in the corner booth. <sighs> Wait here. I'll have a word. So the truth is, this little diner here, man, there's a lot of little things to see in here, especially if you played through the game before. But, um, 
I won't be spending too much time in here. This area mostly exists just to get you used to the concept of looking around and walking, and it's, uh, it's serviceable. But man, looking back on this with the, uh, with knowing what comes later, it's, uh, it's really neat to see some of the things in this diner. Excuse me, sir. There's no smoking in here. Three million people in Gotham City. Today, not so many. The only people left on the streets are the sort that enjoy the chaos. <laughs> Gotham's finest. Scum. Criminals. And worse, not enough good people left to stop them. It took just 24 hours for us to lose control of the city. Tonight, Gotham's relying on one man to save us all. It's Halloween, Scarecrow has a new fear toxin and a new voice actor, and the back signal's lit up. Sounds like we've got things to do tonight. So to start off with, the uh, flight controls or the navigation controls are very similar to Arkham City. The main difference being that, uh, well you may notice that this game is significantly larger than Arkham City. It's even significantly larger than Arkham Origins, which added on about half another map. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just glad you made it out okay. Sorry, I've got to go. Stay safe, Barbara. You still know how to make an entrance. How's the evacuation going? The last bus crossed the city limits an hour ago. I'm just glad my little girl got out when she did. 
Now the real work begins. Any lead on Scarecrow? We were tracking an unknown military vehicle speeding through Chinatown. It's the only lead we've had all night, but they gave us the slip. With the evacuation, I just don't have the manpower left in the city. If you find it, tell your men not to engage. I'll deal with it. Do you really think Scarecrow's crazy enough to detonate a chemical weapon in Gotham? I won't let that happen, Jim. In case you need to reach me, it's going to be a long night. All units, we've got a 1033 in Sector 2. Missing patrol car. Unit 247. Suspected officer down. Hey, Batman. Every damn time. Oracle, I need the location of Unit 247. Already working on it. How's my dad doing? He's holding up. Somehow, he always does. Okay, I'm sending through the squad car's location. Be careful. It's not looking good out there. My audio balance may be off for these first few videos, but um, it should only be a few videos before I have it back up to normal. So like I said, the uh, navigation controls are pretty similar to Arkham City and Arkham Origins. You do still have your uh, grapnel boost, but um, it's maybe not as effective as it was in the other games. One of the biggest improvements I'd say they missed, made this time around is uh, the combat. Uh, it's been revamped once again. It's not just another copy like uh, Arkham Origins was of Arkham City. It's definitely a beast unto itself, and it has a lot of new little wrinkles that you have to get used to. This ain't your city anymore! <laughs> you should have left with the others. You brought this on yourself, trying to be a hero. <laughs> Please, break his jaw. One of the new things there is to start with is, uh, well, Batman can now pick up weapons. You ever wanted to use your bat to hit somebody? Yeah, go for it. The other thing, it happened pretty quickly there, but you might have noticed that guy was uh, charging me with a red uh, counter icon above his head. Charging goons, uh, they can't be countered. Uh, you can either jump over them, or you can uh, just go ahead and wreck them. All you have to do is toss a battering, and really they'll hurt themselves. The third thing is, sometimes you'll find enemies that are already on the ground. You can actually pick them up to continue your beatdown, just because, well, nobody wants to leave the guys right there. You're safe. Thanks, Batman. I thought they were going to The city's overrun. We don't stand a chance. Stay here. I'll send someone to pick you up. What are you doing? Evening the odds. Here's one of those changes of the game not everybody's too sure about, but uh, I like it decent enough. I need to track that military vehicle. A squad car has picked up the pursuit. I'm relaying its location now. And so, since seeing it in Arkham Asylum, we finally have the chance to drive the Batmobile. Though it looks a little bit different than it did in Arkham Asylum, I think. All off your men, Jim. Golf Oscar 5-6, this is Commissioner Gordon. I'm calling off the pursuit. It's too dangerous. Sir, we're right here! We can take these bastards! What the? They just fired an RPG at us! Who the hell are these guys? 5-6, pull back down. That's an order. Let Batman deal with this. 5-6 is taking a directive from an RPG. They're gone, sir. Tim, please, Batman, you've got to stop him. Don't worry, Tim. He's fine. So, while driving, you do have access to side jets, which can uh, pretty quickly uh, reposition you in the event you have an incoming rocket, and they're pretty handy. We need to interrogate the driver and find out what he knows. Especially considering this is not the first time the Batmobile will be shot at tonight, I guarantee you. Where's Scarecrow? Go to hell! Where 
Where is he? I got nothing to say to you, Batman. Talk, or I'll crush every bone in your body. Okay, okay! Uh, he's working out of a penthouse in Chinatown. I swear that's all I know! If you're lying, I'll break the other one. The other one? Oracle, check the chemical analysis I've just uploaded. Sure. Is this what I think it is? Scarecrow's new toxin. An uncontaminated sample. You're not kidding. I'll prepare a full chemical breakdown on the back computer. What are you going to do? Scarecrow's got a safe house nearby. I'm going to pay him a visit. Let's hope this is the break we've been waiting for. Well, sounds like we've already got a beat on Scarecrow. Man, this night could go a lot faster than anybody expected. A uh, important note about the Batmobile, the you can't run anybody over. Luckily, Batman has some sort of neato electric tires, and they just go ahead and knock everybody you hit out of the way and oh, knock them out instantly. In it's wonderful. Until we get the order to gas her. Do your worst. The boredom is killing me. Oh, don't worry. You'll get what's coming to you when we're good and ready. Why do we have to wait? We can give her a dose now. Be my guest. I'll tell Scarecrow it was your idea. I was just joking. Didn't sound like a joke. Would you think I wanted to know I was going against orders? Have you seen him? Yeah, up close. He's done something to his face, hasn't he? Looks like he's taken a knife and cut chunks out of it. Rumor is he got his face torn off by some freak called Killer Croc. Really? Looks deliberate to me. Yeah, well, I guess he figured he should look the part. You know, like a scarecrow. That's messed up, man. And speaking of messed up, why is she here? I'm here because your boss has an inferiority complex. After all, he's only human. Nobody asked you, freak. They offered her the chance to join. She said no. Scarecrow's gonna use her as his new lab rat. Pamela Isley. Able to control plants with her mind. Really? Stick around and maybe you'll find out. I've seen it with my own eyes. One of the guys who brought her got torn in two by some giant tentacle. You make it sound so crass. It was... beautiful. Man, what's wrong with this city? It's just full of freaks. You are not wrong. Check Compressor 5. We need to be ready to go when we get the order. Did somebody order pain? There's a few more things you'd be able to do in this uh, area if I was able to get my positioning right, but I'll be able to show it off later instead. Uh, another new thing they have for this game is environmental takedowns. Um, also, guys can grab you and then you just beat the crap out of them when they're behind you. I assume if you're left grab for long enough, uh, other guys can uh, come and punch you in the face, but... Well, I've never been grabbed for that long. This won't be a perfect playthrough. I am going to get punched in the face, probably repeatedly. It's, uh... It's, it's a habit. But I'll be doing my best. Well, that's made things a little more interesting. Sir, it's Batman. He's here. Were you expecting to find me, Batman? I'm afraid I must disappoint you. Take a look at the chamber. I want you to know the fear that is coming. Listen up, Bat Freak. We're walking out of here, nice and slow. You try anything stupid, I'll blow her brains out. Charming. But only one of us is getting out of this cell. <laughs> no! 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 Nothing like a little natural immunity.
What are you doing here? Why did Scarecrow lock you up? No hello. Tell me. And what if I don't want to? Then I burn every plant in Gotham. It started with a meeting. What meeting? Everyone was there. Penguin, Two-Face, Riddler, even poor Harley. Scarecrow said he had a plan. That together we could take you out. And Gotham would be ours. Over my dead body. I believe that was the idea. I told him that I wasn't interested in his pathetic human games. And when I came to, I was locked up in that room. It's such a shame that his vile toxin has no effect on me. Nature always wins. Will he ever learn? <sighs> You're coming with me. You only had to ask. What's wrong? the target, sir. He's cornered. Don't move. Are you sure it's him? Confirmed. It's Batman. Sir, that tank they have backing them up is unmanned. Good. I thought this would be tough. All it took was one tank. And we brought an army to take you on. What a waste. This is it, boys. What everyone's afraid of. Well, this isn't quite it. Operational. Bias engaged. So yes, that Batmobile has a tank mode. Batman, I've spotted six more unmanned tanks moving to Chinatown. They'll be there any second. You'll be using the tank quite a bit, so it's best to get used to it now. Uh, you do have a, uh, basically when the Batmobile is in tank mode, you can move in any direction without having to accelerate. Um, you can strafe around everything. You have a short boost, which will let you move around to dodge incoming fire. And, uh, you do have a cannon and a, well, it's sort of like a minigun. Uh, but the gun on the Bat tank will automatically adjust itself to take care of whatever target you're shooting at. Shooting at a guy? Hey, it's not going to shoot him with a cannon or with actual guns. The Batmobile also does come equipped with various secondary weapons, which we'll get more into later, but for now, the only secondary weapon we really have to our name is a missile launcher. We'll be seeing a lot of the Batmobile. We need to leave. The master of understatement as ever. Oh, I need to know where those tanks are coming from. I'm tracking several transport helicopters moving into the city. There are more on the way. Activate the Batmobile weapon diagnostics. It's time to go to war. So the Batmobile can't quite seem to plow through these uh, Humvees, which is a little strange considering things that happen later. But first thing the game wants us to do is go ahead and go through the weapon energy diagnostics. Normally I'd skip over it, but, um, well, it's required. System diagnostic test online. Stage one. Destroy targets to charge up weapon energy and activate missile barrage. This opening portion is just to show you the very basics. You strafe around, you shoot the turrets. Uh, on these basic tanks, uh, one shot of the turret is enough to take them out. And the uh, truth is, if you're really good at aiming, you'll notice they have a small, uh, a small blue light on them. If you can hit that with your Vulcan cannon, uh, well, it'll actually destroy them instantly and give you some extra points. 
but it's a pretty small target, so I don't usually spend too much time on it. Now, you'll notice I have two energy bars. Uh, at the first level, using the uh, missile barrage just shoots out one missile, which is, you know, handy. It'll take out anything in one shot. At level two, you can shoot four missiles. There are more levels, but we'll get to it when we uh, get to it. Taking damage depletes weapon energy. Charge up missile rush to level two and destroy four active targets to complete diagnostic tests. As the handy dandy voice says, uh, dodging shots uh, that are incoming is crucial to keeping your uh, weapon energy high up. You can get upgrades that will let you keep more weapon energy when you get hit or not lose any at all, but, well, let's face it, it's just best not to get hit at all. After all, I'm professional. Yeah, that's about it. That's the last uh, last bit the game's going to really give you as tutorial for bat tank fighting, so I hope you got used to it. It's only going to get more complicated from here. Batman, I'm seeing a transport deploying more tanks at Panessa Studios. I've warned GCPD to pull their men off the streets. I'm heading there now. Well, maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more practice. We have numerous hostile tanks deployed across the city. Gotham is under attack. I want everyone off the streets and back to GCPD. We're not equipped to deal with what's out there. Thank God there's someone who is. Oh, he means us. So the tanks do have some, uh, I guess you'd call it a predictive aim. They'll sort of aim where you're going, but you can always see what they're aiming at. Or well, where they will be shooting. So it's not like it's impossible to dodge. And the tanks do suffer from friendly fire, so they, they can't hurt each other. It only really gets complicated when you run into maybe five tanks at once that are all shooting at you. Finding your safe zone can be a little... A little rough in those circumstances. Jim, tell your men they can resume their patrols. The tanks have been dealt with. Thank God. Let's hope they were the last. Don't count on it. I need the isolation chamber prepped at the GCPD lockup. I'm bringing in Ivy. If you are playing this game on your own, I would practically recommend upgrading your Batmobile weapons as one of your first upgrades, just because they're going to be seeing a lot of they're going to be seeing a lot of use. A lot of use. And having your Batmobile do more damage or reload faster, all these things are extremely useful. Uh, the armor, not so much, just like your... just like Batman's personal body armor. It is more important to have that in case you're getting hit a lot. But, uh, it has its uses, you know? Hey, sometimes armor's essential. Good to have you when you're bad, Batman. like me. Bring her down to the lockup on the lower level. Is this the first time in the game we've been in the GCPD where they're actually police present and we aren't a criminal? What the hell? Hold your fire! It's Batman! What is that thing? Are you kidding me? I thought we were under attack. Any progress with the fear toxin analysis? It's gonna take a little while longer. Drop by the clock to her when you're ready and I'll show you what I've got so far. Who taught you to drive? Not my parents. Scarecrow's gonna break you, Batman. Honestly, why do you even bother with these meat sacks? Civil unrest? There's a war on the streets. We don't have the manpower or the equipment. Well, look who it is. Ivy. Well, that's one less thing to worry about. Is the isolation chamber ready? Glad you're putting it to good use. A nice touch. Oh, good. The isolation Another chamber step. has a Wayne Tech logo on it. Must be an investment. Anyway, that's about it for this video. So, uh... Good night, Gothamites. You feel safer now that I'm all locked up. Reality of the 
situation is this. We no longer have...